hey, hey, boy. Hey, hey, my boobs. Welcome back to my world. Or to me and my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Lexi Boo. And welcome, Boo, for those new subbies. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Boo Squad. I'm so happy that you guys decided to join this family. I promise you to give you nothing but lit videos as always. So, yeah, guys, today is Monday. It's a public holiday. I need to clean my room because it's a mess. Um, and I was actually planning to wash my laundry over there, but my brother is busy washing his laundry, so I have to wait for his things to dry on the washing line because there won't be space for my laundry or i just have to move that to tomorrow so yeah guys um i hope you guys are good and well so let's get this day started already <laughs> it's much later i've been on an online shop which called aliexpress um 
and I've been watching vlogs, I'm gonna actually put water away for me to pass. And it's kind of cold. It's chilly, actually. So, um, I need to get things for my birthday. My birthday is on the 2nd of June. And now it's the... It's April now. So, I mean the 10th. Is it? I don't know. But now it's April. So, I'm thinking, like... May is gonna come and go fast, so I should start buying my dress and my wig this month, and then the rest of the things that I need, really needed this month, I can just shift it to next month. Um, some of the things I still do have, it's not such a big of a deal. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I saw this dress on AliExpress, and it says the shipping is. 400 and the dress is 500 and something and why i'm pushing to buy the dress this month is because um i want everything to be in order actually for next month because my shooting is going to be next month around the, the 20 the 20th somewhere there hence why i decided to just go ahead and get the dress and my brazilian on the way and also i'm Gambling between a long inch, a 26 inch, or just a short inch, like 14 to, ah, like 8 to, yeah, between 8 inch and 12. I don't know, but we'll see about that. And I still also have to get my friend her birthday gift, which I couldn't get like this week because I have to wait for my payment till month end. So that's what's happening in my life. So right now, I'm thinking of purchasing the dress and the hair for now. And then, yeah, just do it with closed eyes and get it over and done with. So that next month, I wouldn't be sorry when I don't get as much income. Because you can't really depend on promotions, guys. Like, to be honest, the job that I do is fun, but for now, like, it's kind of tricky because now everyone is available and everyone is free. I used to make easy money with me availing myself a lot and people wouldn't be as free. And it's the only income really that I'm depending on besides, like, my investments because I don't, I can't even touch that. And besides, like, my girlfriend allowance that I get from my boyfriend. That is the only source of income that I actually get from that job. So, and I told you guys that I'm busy studying. Or I haven't told you guys, but I think I'll tell you guys. When the time comes, I'm busy studying something. So, yeah, so I can't really depend on that because now um, things are a bit rocky. And, yeah, like I think the target that I always wanted to reach i'm not going to reach it starting from next week but if by god's grace um i get to reach so the four promos that i want to reach for this week then i can be able to purchase my week and my my dress but i know by i'll like by all means make sure that i'm gonna purchase those things this month and also yeah and my friend's birthday gift because i decided on buying her perfume and a chocolate with a card for her gift and then yeah that is basically that so i'm going to show you guys the dress here that i'm planning to get by the time you guys watch this video i'll probably have ordered the dress and the wig this side this is the wig and there's the dress um by the time you guys watch this video obviously i'll be already purchased the both of them um, so I'm excited for that. I know it's gonna be a pain in my ass because I won't have money for the month, but it's okay. It's okay because sometimes you just have to take sacrifices, like you know. <laughs>
getting into this house it's so cold i've been laying down watching vlogs i'm done um doing my bed finally tackled my washing i'm going to do spring cleaning tomorrow and then on thursday i have to do my room because it's disgustingly dirty i'm just gonna wash my toilet before cooking because i haven't got breakfast or anything to eat since so i just wanna quickly wash my toilet and then cook so i can eat <laughs> you guys yesterday that i was going getting back to my fitness journey because i need to lose weight for next month so yeah hence why i needed to be fit again because it's going to be my birthday and i'm going for a photo shoot so yeah that is about that to be honest I just need to edit right now. I'm going to edit a video, a weekly vlog, 
it's actually done edited i just have to like edit the clips together and then do the thumbnail so it can be ready for thursday because that video needs to go up by thursday so i'm gonna do that now and then yeah guys i just made myself um coffee i just wanted to sit in a different area because um i feel like i'm always in my room and i feel like i'm always talking to you guys in my room so i need to sit at a different space while cooking breakfast i made myself tea because my tummy has been speaking in tongues and I just couldn't hold it anymore so I just had to make myself coffee for the day because it's like what it's almost two o'clock and I haven't eaten breakfast or anything the whole day since yesterday I lost eight yesterday at two so yeah um so my the meat that I'm cooking is basically gonna take an hour also, it will be done by 3 o'clock. The video is still editing. So, yeah. That is that. And it's just like a chilled Tuesday. I'm so happy today because I got to check to tackle my, my laundry, guys. It was a lot. I've been wanting to tackle it for two weeks now. But I've just been lazy so I told myself today that I was gonna do it actually and I did it and I'm proud of myself for that and tomorrow I'm gonna tackle this house <sighs> so <laughs> that's basically that so I'm just gonna wait for the video to finish editing and then I'm gonna do the thumbnail because the video must be up by Thursday and I just uploaded a video today so if you haven't watched the weekend vlog of me getting new hair please go back and go watch that video and then go back again and watch the weekly vlog and then come back to this one thank you but I think there's then there'll be a weekend vlog so there's three vlogs before this one so please go and watch all three of them and then come back to this one <laughs> I soaked my plate with gravy like more so I'm finally gonna eat I try not to order as much junk I know in a way you guys will be like but you're eating pop like I'm saying I'm trying not to order like not to buy as much of not to eat as much of bread anymore 
like obviously i'm gonna eat once um once a day and then i'm either gonna choose between pop and bread and then i'm trying not to eat as much in a day because i know when i eat pop and it's a lot guys i know when i eat pop i'm gonna get full let me say now it's three i'm gonna eat i'm gonna get full till tomorrow at three so in a way i'm losing you see <laughs> so um i'm trying not to eat as much junk as much chips and all of that so that's why i prefer being cooking so mm, one thing about me my mom taught me very well how to cook mm. A chef's kiss. Mm. I'm actually burning. Oof. very cold like what's going on i just finished bathing i'm back into my pjs i actually need to wash these i'm back into my pjs these are the only pjs that i have here because my other winter pjs are in joburg i've been using this ice roller guys this is heaven if you don't have an ice roller please ma'am sir what are you waiting for and it also helps with a lot of things like i feel like i need to go back on the hygiene and focus more into the products and the things that i have that i can give you guys advice on but yeah i've been using this eyes roller for like more than 10 minutes more than 10 minutes now i took out all my makeup sponges and brushes because i actually need to brush to wash them um and then i have to organize my closet but i'm gonna do that later because i'm cold i even had to use vaseline i was like i'm not using any lotion today like i'm literally gonna use vaseline like no ways like no ways is this cold it is the so cold and i need to undo my hair guys yeah there's so much things to get done this week to be done actually but i'm gonna quickly watch a vlog and then start organizing my closet in an hour or so because right now i'm not in the mood i think i'm gonna do that around five 
and wash my brushes tomorrow i think i'm gonna let them sleep in water or i'll just yeah no that's not a good idea i'll just wash them around six and then watch a youtube video now so after the youtube video i'll actually get up and organize my closet because i feel depressed in this room like my room is dirty like i said tomorrow i'm gonna tackle the house and then i'll tackle my room on thursday so yeah and also um what else needs to be said yeah that is basically that so we'll get our whole job fixed in an hour or so guys like i'm tired i know i haven't done much today <laughs> but i actually have done something watching washing laundry is a workout i'm tired <laughs> i'm back um like i said we're gonna tackle this whole job i need okay my bags are like more so more so organized but i'm gonna reorganize all of this there and then oh, my camera okay present my screen though then i'm gonna fix all of that so let's get started <laughs> I low-key have to hurry up because I have to be I have to be at my sister's house by 10 11 because I'm gonna get my hair braided so you guys know how usually that takes and I'm in the process of undoing my hair I did the side yesterday and it was low chilling so I couldn't finish my hair but I'm gonna finish it after cleaning I'm actually planning to rob <laughs> the cleaning process. I'm just going to mop the floors, dust the furniture, and then fix where it needs to be fixed. Is. Fixed, and then I'm going to undo my hair. And then, <clears throat> yeah, that's basically that. Um, What am I doing now? So, oh, and I have to go to the bank because I need to... 
help my cousin change his bank because his company is registered under my name and um yeah that's what's happening so <laughs>
Sada le lana, aye, 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 tan la lunge. Guys, I am done though. I am finally done. Yeah. Finally. Because, wow. My hair is drier. My hair feels so dry. But, yeah. I'm going to finish cleaning. I don't even feel like it, but I'm just going to do it. But I'm going to go through the colors. And you guys should give me a tip on which color I should do. Because I'm going to do box braids. So. <laughs> One thing about me, I'll do colors. My boyfriend even asked me, like, when is your colors going to end? Your color, your color phase, when is it going to end? Honey, you must get used to it for a long time. Because I do not know. Like, I get people who be like, ugh. But I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I like, I like it. I'm enjoying my colors. I'm, I really am. I just need to get my hair washed and then, guys, I cut some parts of my hair. So I don't know. <laughs> but it's okay. It doesn't jumpies, you know. I need to go and clean the house and then. Bath, so we can choose colors, and I'm even hungry. Ugh. But I know for sure that I'm not gonna eat now, I'm gonna eat at my sister's house because if I'm there, she's gonna want to dish up for me. And what I do know is I'm eating once, so I'm definitely not going to eat now and knowing that she's gonna force me to eat at her place so no thank you because she said i must visit her we're gonna cook but i told her like you're gonna braid my hair first sis like you dodo are gonna braid my hair first before we get into the pots hence why i wanted to go like early 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 so we can have time to do everything because one thing me and my sister we talk till the next day like our mouths do not dry from talking so and i know one thing about my sister like she used her hands to talk that's when she's slower so okay guys i do not please motivate me because at this point i don't even feel like i do not even feel like cleaning this house like i don't i don't want actually i do not want to so yeah what do you do Mara, when your bonnets get like big like like oversized thingy like what do you do because my bonnet this baby girl here is big i need to wash my sponges Ugh, i don't even feel like cleaning oh. I do not feel like cleaning Paper, paper. Guys, I'm already into the weekend spirit and <laughs> it's Wednesday. I'm feeling like going to a club and do paper, paper. I don't know. Paper, paper. Ah, ah, yo, yo.
at my sister's place. I was supposed to get my hair braided. Um, I got to the bank. By the time I was done talking to you guys, and then I went to the bank to F and B, and then I was there for a for a long time basically. And from there, I came to my sister's house, and I've been waiting for the girl who was supposed to bring me because she went somewhere and she's still not back so it's gonna require me coming back tomorrow of which is something i didn't want it to do but i don't mind coming again but then i mean it's taxi money coming and you know but it's fine so right now guys please don't judge me <laughs> i'm in the hood so i have to be ghetto i have two cans two bottles of um give my packer empty like empty bottles of black and brutal so i'm going to get alcohol because me and my sister we're craving for alcohol so i'm gonna go later so yeah morning guys today is thursday i'm gonna tell you guys a story a little story of what happened yesterday so yesterday got to my sister's house and then um there was a lady who said because i was going there so my sister was like there's a lady who knows how to braid right mind you guys i have long hair so um when she came she came very late because she was somewhere because the lady who braids my hair is not in town and i don't usually let people braid my hair fine then she came to my sister's house and then when she came um i was like when i saw her i was like hell no because she's younger than me and i was like are you sure you know how to braid and she was like, I'm perfect at braiding. I usually know how to braid with hair. And I can also do box braids, box braids. And I was like, okay, perfect. Because that's what I want. And she told me, like, she braided a lot, a lot of people. And I was like, okay. And she was like, yeah. And then I showed her my hair. And she was like, yo, your hair is long. But we're going to try and manage it. And I was like, but I thought you said you know how to braid. Fine. Gave her the hair piece. I need to put you all on the tripod. Gave her the hair piece. And then she started braiding. And I, I showed her the picture, which is here. I showed her the picture of which she should get my hair braided in. Like, it's box braids that are like, I think they like less than 20. Fine, she was like, perfect, that's simple. Great. Hop in the job. It started being... The time it started, it was a little chilling. It was 6 o'clock. Fine. Then she braided me, she braided me, she braided me. So I couldn't see what she was doing. And I couldn't tell her to show me because we were in the dark. And I was like, are you sure you can see? And she was like, yeah, I can see. And then, okay, fine. She started braiding me. We were sitting outside. She started braiding. And then she was like, then she, she finished the side. And she came to the side. She was like, I'm with the hair piece. And I was like, oh, okay. Because we cut it. So the half we took it inside and the half she was braiding me. So I was like, let me fetch the hair piece so you can finish braiding me. And I asked her, like, are you not going to get um, in trouble for getting back home late? Because obviously she's younger than me. I think she's now doing matric or something. Fine. She was like, no, my parents are cool. I even told them. Okay, cool. When I walked in the house, passing the fridge, guys... That moment I knew I went to the worst hair. Look at this. What do you... Pa? Okay. What do you call this? Like... What is this? Guys... What is this? What is this? What is that? I was never this pissed. Like, I'm pissed. Like, look at this. 
It looks like someone who's trying to practice on me. Look at this. Guys, it's a Oh, what, guys? No ways. No ways. It's like a two year old who's trying to practice how to braid. And I was like, girl, no, no ways. So I didn't want to offend her or anything. I was like, you know what? My boyfriend's going to fetch me and I have to go. So she was like, oh, okay, we can finish braiding your hair tomorrow. And I was like, that's not going to happen. And she charged me 150 and I was like, her price is kind of dodgy because the girl that braids my hair charged me like 250 two to 300 so even the pricing J, you can just hear Jorge. So now I don't know if I should undo my hair and waste this hair piece or I should just braid it and then like leave it like this and go to my hairstylist because she said she's coming in around 10 today and then get my hair braided. I left money for my sister to give her like I'm thanks. I am thanks. So I'm gonna hear if my hairstylist can because this this is bullshit guys. Like sorry for my language, but this is nonsense. Like I've never been so disappointed. Guys Yo wow so now, I was planning to clean my room, or I'm actually planning to clean my room, because my room, I've been telling you guys, my room is dirty, and then I'm going to call her and see, because if she's um, landing at 10, so I know how to schedule my things and work around time. I feel so disappointed, guys. Yo, no ways, bruh. No ways. No ways. And on top of that, she left some hair here. Like, for who is this hair? No. No ways. So, yeah. I'm so pissed because she wasted my hair peas. I'm so pissed. But it's okay. I'm gonna get that fixed today. I'm gonna get it fixed. <laughs> I'm just very pissed. Like, honestly. Never have I ever been this pissed. Like, look at what is this? Guys, what is this? People are gonna laugh at me. It's like a two year old who braided this. No ways. No ways. So, yeah. I'm gonna um, clean my room and then. Yeah. Clean my room and upload my YouTube video that should be up today. I just only have to do the thumbnail for that. It's a weekend vlog. I have to do the thumbnail for that and then I'm good to go. I think I'm gonna start uploading that around nine or yeah, around it's nine, right? Around ten or eleven. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Around ten or eleven when I'm done cleaning the house. Because I have to do a thumbnail for that and I have to add tags on that. So, as disappointed as I am, we have to keep it moving. Guys, um, the thing is, right now, I'm eating cold food because. <laughs> It's load shedding. I'm eating 
not ice cream. You know how black people be. <laughs> then when you, you remember when your mom used to like pour food in here and then you would think it's ice cream. <laughs> but I'm eating um chicken breast. Wait, let me show you guys properly. Okay, so it's rice with veggies and chicken breasts. And there's mushrooms, there is carrot. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> and then there is that's a mushroom. Carrot <laughs> there's ham. Yeah. And ham. So yes. Guys, I need to make myself coffee. Guys, the whole day it was freaking load shedding. I did nothing much. I ate my after eating my breakfast. I, I actually before that I went to the tuck shop to go get soap, and then where's my other shoe? Oh, my feet is swallow now. And I don't know where my other shoe is, but I need to throw this out. But anyways, um, I went to the tuck shop because um, I had to get soap for um, washing soap actually to clean my room. And then after that, I ended up not cleaning my room because it was low chilling from 10 to 2 o'clock. And we back, guys, at low chilling stage 6, imagine. And I couldn't do that because after two hours, so lazy and tired, and then I bathed, and yeah, that was basically my day, and went back into PJs. I didn't really much vlog for you guys today, but yeah, that was that. So I'm planning to actually do myself coffee. I went to buy myself chips at the tank shop, and... The washing soap like i said and then these are like all the braids that i took out guys i'm so oof, the soap i'm still so pissed about the fact that i had to waste my headaches like if only i knew like i had a feeling like your instant Guys, when I say trust your instincts, your instincts will never lie to you. The moment when I saw her, my instincts were like, mm mm. And it's not like because I judge people by how I see them, but you always just have to listen to your instincts. And my instincts told me that, girl, no ways. So I knew, but I just didn't want to go with my instinct because I wanted to give her. Um, the benefit of the doubt but eh, mm -hmm. I was proven wrong by my instance so yeah guys it is so cold we are literally approaching winter literally and tomorrow I have to shoot look at this so pretty yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the cloud there. Pray. But tomorrow I have to shoot. I think I'm going to do a get ready with me. So I have to start editing my weekend vlog. And I'm uploading a vlog in like a few minutes now. It just needs to be um, verified. It just needs like 20 minutes of verification so they can see if there's anything wrong with on the video like copyright and all those bad and good stuff but yeah I'm uploading a vlog right now as we speak and then I have to start editing the one why because um, what is it yeah it's a weekend vlog because why am I editing it now? It's because I'm doing a get ready with me tomorrow. So I don't want to have too, too much footage and run out of space unnecessarily. So I might as well take out some few clips and start editing and having to make space, you know. And need some footages. You know how the editing work works. Um, yeah. 
friend, I'm just gonna make myself coffee, edit, and then get to bed. Really, there's nothing much to do. I'm thinking of making this cup of soup. And these are my dad's guys. If you guys know this, you know. If you don't, because I was actually planning to go to a tech shop now, guys. Let me tell you something about my street. It's not safe anymore to even think about that when it's low chilling, people can actually get raped. And people were raped last time. That I heard last time people got raped. And I was like, in my street? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, are you sure? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, when? And they were like, low chilling. So we don't know about the stage six when is it going to be lotion so i don't want to take the risk of now going out and going to get myself something to eat while i have some food like i can make soup and bread i'm not really hungry i ate in the morning i actually plan to just eat once a day like i told you guys but sometimes i'll be calling you know and sometimes it's okay to just cheat in a week because I haven't cheated from Monday till today, and today is Thursday. So, and I know for sure that I'm not gonna cheat on. Low cheating! I knew it! Oh! <gasps> and it's gonna come back at 8 or. Oh no! And my Wi Fi is off! My Wi Fi is flat. Oh my goodness! Guys, I'm gonna use the laptop to charge my Wi Fi because the only thing I want is for this thingy to whoop, this thingy to charge to go up so i'm gonna use the laptop to charge my wi-fi in the meantime as long as my youtube video goes up like literally that's all i want literally that's all i want and it's charging so let's see if we can still be able to make the soup. I think you all need hot water. My water is hot. I think. I hope so. <sighs> Bruh. Bloody escom. And we just had low shedding and just literally came got to three, four, five, six. Four hours of electricity. What are we supposed to do in four hours? Uh, sheesh. Okay, let's read the in the recipe. It says, okay, take two minutes to prepare your cup of soup and get ready to recharge. I can't even see this. I'm reading it like this. Okay. There's a poor content of uh, okay, you pour it in the cup, and then after pouring in the cup, what's that? I mean, touch Give it a two-minute breather, stir, and then yeah. Mitya touch us, all right? Yeah. Thank you much. Okay. Which one are we gonna use? But I don't want this big cup sometimes. My cup. Um. So you pour the whole thing or what? I don't know. This is enough. Or should I put like more? 
Let's put a little more. Yeah, I think it's enough. Okay. Then I put water. It says a cup a soup, so we have to put the whole soup in here. Now we're gonna wait for it. Yes, I'm done. I'm not done with my soup. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. Ooh. No, not in this fridge. Oh, guys, who would have thought? Like literally, editing your YouTube videos would take long like i used to love editing my youtube videos i don't know if now i'm starting to get lazy or what's happening but mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. so hey guys so it's the next day um it's been no cheating i went to the tech shop at 10 o'clock to get myself some snacks because I couldn't make breakfast because it was late cheating from 10 till now too. I have to bath and get ready because I am leaving to... I'm going to eat noodles. Yeah. I'm leaving to... There's a work meeting at 4 o'clock. And I also have to go to the store to buy... Um, a winter jacket for work and then yeah so I have to get all of that done I'm going to bath and then I don't know what I want to do honestly I think I'm gonna just do like a light touch up makeup like that a light look because I do not have as much time because I was waiting for electricity to come back and then I'm just quickly gonna um, eat or something guys i'm running low-key out of time i want to quickly eat figure out what i'm gonna weigh and then we're gonna go because now i'm all over the place to be honest and it's almost three o'clock and we have to be at the meeting by four and i still have to go to the stores and check for the jacket that they want at work so that our um, manager can go and print it out. But at this point, I'm like, mm. oh my gosh. Hmm. I just have to hurry up. And I'm busy uploading. I'm uh, not uploading. I uploaded a YouTube video today, yes. The one that I was supposed to upload yesterday because it took long. So it's, it went up today. And then right now I'm busy editing the weekend vlog. And it's so long. Mm. And guys, please give me my flowers because... I'm making sure I'm giving you guys an hour vlog, like, okay, Lexi, <laughs> please do give me my flowers. I'm done bathing and everything, my hair is slicked back and it's in a bun. 
<laughs> Not my manager, my manager. <laughs> Guys, there's a meeting today and I told my manager I'm going to be like five minutes late. He replied in the group. I don't know what he said, but I know for sure it's not good. Because when it comes to me, sometimes I can be the white bread, but I can be that bread that can be muffed. Like that green bread that's muffed. So... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash the dishes now and then I'm gonna head out to the shops because I need to look for that jersey and then um, yeah that's what I need to do and I was busy editing um, the video like I said I'm not fully done but I'm almost done with it and then yeah but luckily it's not due for anything or something like it's till I have time till Tuesday because I have to upload it on next week Tuesday and today is Friday so I still have like what today tomorrow Sunday and Monday I have like four days to finish it and luckily it's not that long so it's not something that I am stressed about or anything so yeah guys i'm gonna quickly charge my phone leave it to charge while i wash dishes and then i'll see you guys when i'm heading out guys i'm in germany and the thing is the jackets that i'm looking for i can't find them i only found this one a small one and i'm running late for the meeting oh my gosh Guys, hi. I'm just wearing my hair in a bun. It's morning, it's Saturday. And to be honest, I don't know how my day is going to go or how my day is looking like. I think I'm going to go to my sister's house around one o'clock and i'm looking over there because i'm trying to figure out what i'm actually gonna wear going there oh my gosh it's load shedding what and it's gonna come back got two shit but anyways I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear because, yeah, I honestly don't know because at night it would be cold and during the day it would just be like chilly because we are approaching winter now. You guys can see me proper. This one is not... Nicely, you know, adjusted. Okay, hi. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out here what I'm gonna wear. Going there, and it looks beautiful. For in case if I have plans later, but I don't want to be overdressed too. Don't want to be overdressed. I think I'm also gonna wear these pants that my boyfriend bought me. Or should I wear these black ones? But if I would wear these ones, but what would I wear them? I'm also trying to figure out the sneakers that I would wear them with I don't want to be overdressed and I also don't want to be underdressed and I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take
<laughs> these jeans and I'm going to take It has brown and white, black and white. Okay, then I can just take my everyday bag. This bag with Or my white sneakers. I think I'm gonna take my white sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> These ones. So my outfit for the day is ready. So now I just have to go to the tuck shop. I can't really buy eggs like I planned to because it's so shady. And I want to start getting ready at 12 o'clock and it's now half past 10. I thought there were no live cheating today because it's Saturday, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, and the shirt. The shirt. Guys, look how nicely. Okay, never mind how skew this is, but look how nicely. Wait, these are not supposed to be here. Look how nicely I organized my things. Cute, right? Um, I can take. I need something that's gonna keep me warm. I'll take this top, cause it has the with the blue jean yeah so I want to quickly change and go to the tuck shop and I'll tell you guys how yesterday's meeting went pretty much all I can say to you guys is that I'm gonna go to the tuck shop buy myself a snack because I'm hungry and then I'll talk to you guys when I come back because there's a lot to be said to be honest guys I'm back is it me or is it like certain people also do it like when they drink stony they hold their breath in so that they don't like inhale like the smell because like the chasete It actually makes you want to sneeze or it does it does something to your nose I don't know I don't think it's only me when it comes to stony but I went to buy cheese which I'm gonna eat it now with bread I bought these cookies there's one left and Mazimba guys now I'm back I guess so I'm gonna tell you guys what happened so I got to work. I had like a bad feeling about it. I got to work at the meeting. So do you know when something tells you
there's something bad that's gonna happen like your inner voice or something I don't know call me a prophet I do not know but I had a bad feeling about it so um, got to the meeting um, our manager said certain things about work related about the uniforms and everything you know and if certain people had certain issues so apparently I did not think I had issues with anyone besides the girl who was my friend and then what happened is that her friend not like attacked me but basically basically she didn't attack me guys she said certain things that I wasn't aware of you know and the people that I thought were my friends or the girl that I thought she was my friend actually you guys know when I say friends I mean associate because I only have two friends in my life I actually had three which was my mom obviously the first one because she passed away my boyfriend and my best friend Neo who's in your work now other than that oh and then Jennifer she stays here other than that I do not have friends at all I don't want friends I don't like having friends so many friends and I just feel comfortable in keeping my circle small because I know the people who'd go down for me who'd hold it down for me actually you know so I didn't think she had an issue with me so I guess she basically stood up for her friend which is a good thing because as a friend I would also stand up for my friends you know but that girl that I was friends with um she did certain things in the group and she disrespected certain people and I would also stand up for them because you can't say now just because you have a better phone you can't say you don't even have an iphone one to certain people and we're not on the same level or i'm a final year student you have nothing you are nothing like you're not even out of the calendar we're the same age or i see you like certain things like that and she was disrespecting people hence why i stopped being friends with her because once you disrespect people and the little people i do not I do not befriend you like we, do, we don't fuck like that you know so um then certain things were said i just felt like i was a bit more shocked and disappointed in my manager for not addressing what she did to others but he could have addressed he addressed the little things that we did that we didn't see it as an issue long story short i got to see the real people that i would hold down with i got to see the true friends because everyone basically had issues with everyone i got to see the true friends that i actually would say like i said jennifer i work with her so she is my third friend she is the only friend that i also have that stays here and then um, I got to see certain people who to talk to, who to, you know, keep certain things from, how to see this person in another eye because I wasn't open or aware of certain people. So it goes back to getting to know certain people, knowing that no one will, no, not everyone will like you, not everyone will hold your back, not everyone is going to protect you or love you or be a friend or be down for you or hold it down for you or you know say nice things about you and certain things so i got to learn and i got to see that and i thank god that i had to experience that and i got to see that you know what this is where i'm standing with this type of person or that type of person so it actually opened my eyes to certain people and it actually made me aware that you know what not everyone is going to be your friend not everyone is going to like you not everyone wish you success not everyone wish you the best and not certainly everyone would want to be your friend so i got to see certain people certain personalities 
as we sat there and everyone discussed everyone and we got to see actually that who for me i'm talking about me i don't i'm not talking about who they got to see as true friends or whatnot i'm talking about me personally i got to experience and i got to see certain people who would hold me down or would go down for me as my friend so i actually thank god and i appreciate god for showing me and for bringing me into that route and that path because now i know how to keep my circle and it should be very small smaller than it was before because if you know me if you've been my og from day one you'll know that i don't have as much friends i've have made friendships and let go of certain friendships and yeah i if i am out of that friendship i'm out of that friendship for good we can try and work it out or try and talk things through but i know personally in my heart my heart is made up like i'm done i'm done like we can talk and check up on each other but being friends again mm -mm, that's not me like we can cabana we can have a disagreement or cabana for like eight nine years ago but I would never see you as me befriending you again. I just something. It's not like I'm holding grudges or something, guys. It's just my personality that I once the trust is broken, it's broken for good, like forever. And there's certain people who came back in my life, apologizing, wanting to be my friend, like this one as well that I said to you all that she was my friend and she's no longer my friend she came twice in my life asking for forgiveness crying her eyes out guys i tried god knows i tried i literally tried but i just can't befriend you again like i do not see you as my friend i can't trust you the way i trusted you i can't hold it down for you and one thing about me i can't pretend and i wouldn't pretend to be like okay we're cool we're friends again and yes i've forgiven you it's not like i'm still holding on to that grudge that's why we can't can't be friends it's just it's something that's in me that i just can't befriend it's like guys when you vomit and you eat back your vomit do you understand or when you throw away your ex and you go back to that very same ex who was toxic or who beat you or you know what that person can tell you that they changed or whatnot but to me it's just something different guys i just can't do you understand so I got to actually experience certain things and I got to observe certain things and I got to view certain things in a different eye that I wasn't even aware of. Nikki Bashaba got left to know Nikki Bashaba in both my eyes, you know. So yeah, that's what happened yesterday and I'm glad that it happened, guys, because you have to be aware of your circle and you have to actually be aware of who you talk to and who you tell certain things and you have to check well among because honey And that's all I can say. That is literally all I can say. So yeah. It's cooking. And I need to head out by half past three to my sister's place. And I have to wash my makeup sponges before that. Before I head out. Yeah, and also, I might, we might, we might go out tonight. We might, I don't know, I'm still deciding. Because you guys know that we do not have money. We do have money, but we don't have a lot of money on this side, so it's still like during the month, and... I do not want to find myself spending unnecessary money, especially on alcohol. So, so that's why I'm saying like we might from my sister's house. If I feel like I need to go out, I will. If not, then I'll just come back home. Cause it's not a big of a deal. But I'm gonna make myself coffee and then, yeah, finish cooking and then wash my makeup sponges because I, I, I also don't think I'm gonna do my makeup today because I told you guys, I guess we might. So even if, I don't think I would want to do my makeup going out. Mm-mm. I don't think I would want to. 
and I'm happy I might sleep at my girlfriend's place. I'll just ask her what she's doing, if she's available, and then we can go out together. If not, I'll work as one. Then forget. But see, guys, the thing is, <laughs> I'm scared, low key, sleeping out and everything. Because I know my boyfriend doesn't, like, he doesn't, he doesn't mind, oh, not me dropping things, he doesn't mind when I go out, but he minds when I sleep out, while, especially when he's not around, yo, he minds that a lot, he minds that a lot, so, even if it's just my friend's house, like, he wouldn't be comfortable sleeping knowing that I'm not 100% safe because if he was around, he knows at least if I sleep out, like he's just a few minutes away, you know, not hours. So, yeah, that's also the thing. <sighs> that's also the challenging thing. So, yeah. Let me throw these out. I also need to buy Kesan. My sister too. I did put her meat in there, so I'm gonna bring her a little <clears throat> scarf tea and yeah. <laughs>
Guys, I actually don't know if I'm gonna get taxis because now it's half past four and I'm going to my sister's house and when I have to come back, I have to come back at six. And I'm low-key like... Why am I still going there? And I think I'm gonna get there around five. <laughs> but this is my third. I showed you guys. Or did I? But yeah, I'm not feeling it. So I'm not gonna get into detail about it. Cause, um, but I'm like, why am I wasting money that I don't have? And going there now, when it's this late, where else I can just go tomorrow and I'm still continuing to walk <laughs> which means your goal is going there mm -mm. guys please pray for me to find someone who's just gonna throw money at me and be like girl go spoil yourself for no reason <laughs> guys I'm home and it's load shitting and the thing is the key I left it where I usually leave it and my dad took it out and now I have to wait because he went out and now I have to wait I ended up not going out because I was at my sister's place and then I decided not to go out because it doesn't help me going out because I don't have a car I don't mind going out on my own but the thing is it's not safe if you know living in South Africa it's not safe because who am I gonna come back with or like you know things like that like even cabs it's not safe going out alone because you just can never trust anyone in South Africa if you live here so it's best if I would go out knowing that my boyfriend is around and then I would know that if I were to call him and I go on a solo club thingy on my own then I would be able to call him but now like I can't because he's not around so I ended up deciding to come back home when I got to my sister's house she was washing laundry so nothing much happened you guys didn't miss anything because after that I was watching the real housewife season three so yeah guys right now I'm waiting for my dad to come back and it's low shooting it's dark so i'll speak to you guys tomorrow guys it's the next day it's low chilling and i'm waking but i'm not sure what time i think later though but um, i'm working so i'm gonna eat actually i'm in the kitchen guys i know that it's too soon for me to actually tell you guys this because i'm gonna tell you guys when so it's gonna be it's a weekly vlog it's gonna be a weekend vlog weekend weekend vlog and then a next weekly vlog so i'll tell you guys on it's gonna be this video another video a weekend vlog and then a weekly vlog so i'll tell you guys on the weekly vlog every detail but i'm so excited because my birthday combo like everything that i want for my birthday is coming alive like it's coming in order it's coming how i actually want it to be so i'm, I'm excited so i'll give you more um heads up all the details um on the next um second vlog that you guys gonna see from now the next third vlog sorry that you guys gonna see from now but i am so, so happy i'm super happy because like you guys have no idea i'm super happy and everything is gonna be on my own cause like no one is gonna assist me or anything and it's gonna be my first time doing like this thing for myself you know because you go between one <laughs> so cheers to more um of more 
birthdays and more of doing some things for me on my birthday without having my boyfriend to pay or anyone else like my siblings or my dad you know i'm actually doing everything on my own cost like my own hard earned money so yeah guys i think on the last vlog i told you guys what i was more so likely gonna do if you haven't watched that vlog go back and come back to this one thank you so yeah i think i told you guys more like what i was gonna do but hmm, change of plans actually but not everything is a change of plan but yeah <laughs> so so the dress that i showed you guys on the last vlog actually i changed my mind i'm gonna do another dress so yeah that is what changed oh and also the hair changed and then after those two things changed everything came like boom okay this is what i want so stay tuned for that and yeah i'm super excited oh my gosh i'm i'm over the moon and it's not even my birthday yet but like i can you know i can feel everything coming to me everything i want for my birthday with my own cost thank you and amen to that i actually forgot a gloss from the kitchen guys this thing off not having electricity when you actually pay electricity and tax like it's not on guys it's it's gone and the fact that you guys you guys already take so much power from us and on top of that you guys be doing these stage six like what is up with that like us not having electricity for like four hours and what is this thing that i'm busy hearing rumors that you guys are gonna take electricity um for like the whole day and we're gonna have like two hours of electricity uh-uh <laughs> why that in another country not in south africa like one thing about my people they'll strike for their freedom like not in south africa like what is this st stage 10 thing i've been hearing on the radio like are you mad? like do you actually want balcom to burn down like do you want south africa to, uh, south africa to burn down like what are you doing what are you doing stop that my brother whoever you are stop it because it's not gonna end pretty it's not guys i don't know what's with me but i feel like i'm excited to go to work because i haven't been at work lately hmm. yeah i haven't been at work lately hmm. i'm excited to Is it me or does this food not have salt? What's up, Kitesa? I'm gonna bath with my eyes closed, like, because it's low shedding still and it's half past 12 and I'm working at 3 o'clock and I still have to go to the bank and withdraw money. So I don't have time because, um, ooh, and I'm gonna go with a wrinkled shirt to work. Wowza. And I don't have time because I'm actually thinking of walking there because I don't want to be wasting money or something like that. But, um, yeah. I'm going to go to Standard Bank and take out money. And then go to Mafia's Tavern. I don't know where that is. Like, where am I going? Like, how do I not know? Like, where am I going? Like, where is it? Like, it's probably somewhere in Tabon, but I don't know where it is. Like, how do you feel like I'm seeing it Like, the sign that I'm gonna make. What is it? Like, where are we going? 
But yeah, I'm quickly gonna bath because I must, and then I can get going. Or we rather would get going. At least we're doing something productive, guys. Don't say I did not do something productive in this vlog because that would be a lie. <laughs> that would be a lie straight up. Yo, guys, I can't believe I'm gonna bath with cold water in a Vascom. Like, I'm tired of bathing in a Vascom, guys. Like, this loading thing is very serious. No cap. Like, are you guys not aware? Like, every time I'm bathing in a Vascom, because our water is ball. So, when there is no electricity, there is no water. That's why you always see me bathing in a Vascom because it's low chilly and there is no water for me to bath in a bath, tub or shower. Yo, uh, uh, it's giving the ghetto in town. Guys, I just feel like God can show people the kind of person I am because at this point, I feel like yeah certain things happen let me get out that way i feel like yeah certain things happen for a reason eh? but i just feel like people are unnecessarily so rude and you know how people be talking shit about you and you can't really do anything about it and you can't even confront them because it's gonna make more news and one thing about me i don't like drama like I do not like drama and I do not tolerate drama but I love watching it when it happens to other people but I keep myself from such things and when such things approach me I actually don't know how to deal with them and I just feel like God can just stop making me so soft because I feel like I'm over soft enough for people to talk the way they want to me or I just feel like I'm too soft in a way that people can just, you know, take advantage of. And yeah, and that's what I don't like because I respect and I'm so kind towards people and I respect people in every way. But I just feel like I could receive that same treatment that I'm giving people. And at this point this month, I haven't been getting that. And I feel so disrespected, belittled and emotionally not okay do you get it so it's been happening for a while this thing and it's been happening from different places like school work and friendships and then it made me question myself for a moment that am i actually the problem and i actually doubted and i actually questioned myself that and i actually thought that i was the problem and i wasn't do you get it? That's the funny thing. I was not the problem. The problem were the people around me. Hi, guys.